I found the most amazing setup for Linux and it comes pretty much right out of the box with very little configuration. Here, check this out. With just my keyboard, I can open up a new program. I can then resize that program however I want. I can open up another program like, I don't know, Ghosty by the way. I can then resize Ghosty to take up the other part of that screen. I can go to another workspace. I can open up another program. I can move that program to workspace three, let's say, and then go back to two, go back to three, move it back to two. And all of this is done with just my keyboard. I feel like a freaking hacker. I mean, shoot, I could just go ahead and throw my mouse away right now. But what is this? Is it some kind of tiling window manager? Well, no, it isn't. Stick around. Now the setup I just showed you was achieved really easily with just the GNOME desktop manager and a few plugins. Trigger warning, I'm gonna refer to this as GNOME. You can refer to it as GNOME if you want, but for me, I prefer GNOME because it stands for the GNU Network Object Model Environment. And MIT says you should pronounce it as GNOME. Also, it makes me feel nice. I don't know. But for me, this setup fits perfectly with my workflow and my style of using Linux for maximum productivity. You see, I love using the keyboard as much as possible. It helps me feel like I'm just so much more connected to my computer, it helps me feel more productive, it helps me get into the flow, and hey, it also looks pretty cool too. And typically to achieve this workflow, I would use what's called a tiling window manager to get this level of productivity out of Linux. But here's the problem. Tiling window managers like i3, Hyperland or whatever are typically really minimal. They just provide window management and not a whole lot else. Therefore, it's up to you to install all the other programs you would need like network management, a lock screen, a file browser, a program to cycle through all of your anime pictures as your desktop background every Every five minutes, you get the idea. And it's a pain to maintain all of those programs, all the configuration, and all the other stuff that comes with a tiling window manager. But what if I told you you could have your cake and eat it too? Let's check out this tiling window management like system with GNOME and how we get there with very little configuration. Now, of course, before we get into this, if you're truly interested in setting up a true tiling window manager, we have a series on how to set up Hyperland on typecraft.dev. We have tons of amazing tutorials, courses and more, including a complete series on setting up Hyperland. So check that out if you're interested in tiling window managers. But anyways, let's let's get into this GNOME setup here that I've been daily driving for a while now. So let's get some amazing workflow in GNOME. It only takes a little bit of work. And right here I have a default GNOME installation and you can install GNOME however you want. And, and typically on any system, you would just run your package manager and install GDM. Then you would have all of GNOME and all of its features. So let's start setting this up. For me, I love using workspaces when using a tiling window manager setup. I am a one monitor kind of guy and I like to have each program take up the full screen on a different workspace. And out of the box, GNOME doesn't handle that very well, but we can change a couple of settings to make that work. Let's hit super and type in settings to get to our settings section. Next, we wanna go to multitasking and we wanna find the number of workspaces setting. I like to change this from dynamic to fixed number of workspaces. For me, I don't know why, I like six workspaces. That just makes the most sense. Now, in most tiling window managers, we can use a simple shortcut to move across our workspaces, but GNOME doesn't have that set up out of the box. So let's go to settings, keyboard, view and customize shortcuts. And it's right here and we can click on view and customize shortcuts. Now in here, what we can do is we can actually type switch to workspace. And here are all of the workspace switcher things. Now for me, what I do is I set this to super and a number. And what that does, is it allows me to switch between my workspaces really, really quickly with a really simple key command. And that command, of course, is super and a number. So once you have set this up to be super one, and then super two and so on and so forth. When you exit this program, you can see now that if I type super two, I go to my second workspace. Super three goes to my third workspace. And there we have it. So that is our quick workspace switching that we have going on in GNOME with no plugins. 
pretty cool. Now I like to see the number of workspaces I have and the current workspace I am on, but we don't have that right now. And there's no way to change that by default in GNOME. How do we do it? Well, this is where GNOME extensions come in. GNOME extensions are add-ons that let you customize how the GNOME desktop looks and works. You can use them to add really cool features like a dock for your apps or a system monitor or some clipboard management or whatever. And they're super easy to install through GNOME extensions on the website or with the built-in in extensions app. Just keep in mind with extensions, sometimes they can break when GNOME gets updated, so it's good to keep them up to date. But for us, let's achieve our dream workflow and we're only going to need a few extensions. So let's show that off right now. Now, the first extension I wanna show off is Spacebar. Spacebar will give us that nice tiling window manager looking status bar at the top left up here, indicating our total number of workspaces and the current active workspace. We can also move our windows from one workspace to another with the shift and super and number command. So I type shift, super and two, and now this is on workspace two. Now it's on workspace one. This gives us an awesome feeling. It feels like a tiling window manager when managing our workspaces. Now you can install Spacebar just like you install any other GNOME extension. You can do this by searching through the GNOME extension app or by going to the GNOME extensions website. It's pretty straightforward to search for, find and install your extensions. Spacebar for me is already installed. So as I showed off before, I have it already installed. I turned it on. We get this nice, awesome, super cool looking tiling window manager Ask workspace status bar in the top left here. This, this is exactly what I want. And paired with the key commands we just set up earlier in GNOME, we now have awesome workspace management. Look at me just flipping through my workspaces. That's awesome. But now that we have this set up, how do we launch our programs? Hitting super is kind of a heavy feeling thing to do. I don't wanna see all of this stuff. I wanna use a minimal system where I can move around really quickly and easily. Well, that's where another cool extension comes in. And that extension, it's called Switcher. Now, Switcher is an awesome extension that, as you might have guessed, actually opens a switching program when you want to open a new program or switch to that program. Even if it's on a different workspace, it'll just switch to it. It's awesome. And what you can do in Switcher in the configuration is you can set your Switcher command to whatever key you want. The key combination I love is Super and Space. That's just a holdover from when I was using Mac OS. I always loved Spotlight and I would open it up with Super and space and I would just type in the program I want, hit enter, it would either switch to it or it would open it up. So make sure you download Switcher. We can then turn it on after we've configured the key command that we want to actually launch the Switcher program. We hit super and space and now we have this great little program launcher and manager. It's pretty amazing. I can type in Google Chrome and then on another workspace, I can open up, let's say, Ghosty. And if I wanna get back to Google Chrome but I don't wanna open up a new window, I can just type Chrome again and it'll go back to the original window I opened. This is the perfect behavior for me and I love it. It acts exactly like Mac OS. It's, it's perfect. So now we have our workspace management set up with just our keyboard. We can flip through our workspaces and that feels awesome. And we also have a great program launcher that works amazing and I love it. It's amazing for my workflow, but you know, we can't really resize our windows the way we normally would in a tiling window manager. You see, GNOME actually has some great defaults for resizing windows. If I hit super and up, this window will now take up the whole screen. If I hit super left, it'll take up half the screen. Super right will take up the other half. And that's pretty good, but I want something slightly better. I want a little bit more control. And that's where a plugin, a GNOME extension called Tactile comes into play. Tactile is a great GNOME extension that allows you to manage your windows in a pretty straightforward way. And you can also manage the grid with which your windows will stick to. So if you want to make your windows maybe half the size of the screen or three quarters or one quarter, Order, you can set up this grid in a really nice layout right here. And to launch Tactile, you can set up whatever command you want. I go with Super T. It just makes the most sense to me. So if you install Tactile and then turn it on in your GNOME Extensions Manager, you will then see when you hit Super T, a grid that you can snap your windows into. For Chrome, I want to take up like, let's say three quarters of the screen. I can type QD. And then if I want for my GNOME Extensions to take up the other one quarter of the screen, it's RF. And it's just that simple. Now I can have a nice, straightforward management of my windows, pretty similar to how I would do it in a tiling window manager, and Tactile fills that need. It's really great. Okay, so we are switching our workspaces, we're resizing our windows, and launching programs just with our keyboard. But you know, 
something feels a little off here. The thing is I'm seeing way too animations and constantly moving workspaces around like the hacker that I am is actually making me kind of dizzy. But guess what? There's another great tool for controlling the little things in GNOME like shell animations and it's called Just Perfection. So let's install Just Perfection. As you can see, it's already in my list of installed extensions. You would just search for it and find it. And let's turn this on. It gives you the ability to customize so many different aspects of GNOME and it's amazing. But for us, we just want to reduce the animations. So let's go to the Customize tab in Just Perfection and we can scroll down to the animations and we can turn on almost none. That's what I want to select here and I'm not gonna go over every single thing that's in just perfection but there's a lot of stuff here it adds a lot of things to your drop-down toolbox in the top right here like uh, power mode it adds dark style or light style Ooh. That's too bright. And it adds other things like airplane mode, a night light. It's, it's really, really cool. And Just Perfection is actually an awesome, awesome plugin. But if we turn down our animations to almost never, we can now see that our animations are looking amazing. Now I can switch through the workspaces like the total ninja hacker that I am, and I don't get dizzy. I don't get motion sick. This is perfect. And this very closely replicates how I feel when using a tiling window manager. So now we have a few GNOME extensions installed. Let's just show off how a typical use my setup in GNOME as what I would like to think of as close to a tiling window manager as you can get without actually being a tiling window manager. Now, like I said, I am a one monitor kind of guy. I like to have one workspace open with typically one app, maybe two at the most, and I just like to switch through my workspaces really quickly. So in workspace one, actually not workspace one, I would put Chrome in workspace two. So shift and super two moves this to workspace two. Now in workspace one, I would would open up a terminal. So let's open up something like, I don't know, Kitty. So now Kitty would be in full screen mode on workspace number one. Chrome would be in full screen mode on workspace number two. And I'd flip back and forth between the two, either going from my website to my code, website to code, website to code, maybe to Reddit, to code, and then YouTube or whatever. You get the idea. But this is how I would use my tiling window managers. It's really no different than how I use this GNOME setup right here. It's amazing and I love it. But the best part is the configuration configuration is dead simple. Like I showed you, it's just a couple of mouse clicks and really three GNOME extensions. That's about it. It's amazing. Okay, so now we have this perfectly configured GNOME instance that feels like a tiling window manager. I feel like a hacker just moving around all my stuff, launching programs, having fun, using only my keyboard. But now here's the problem. How do I actually save these settings in something like a dot file? Because I'm used to dot files in my tiling window managers. I want to make sure that I can recreate this setup on any other computer I want. Is there a way to do this in GNOME? And thankfully there is. There is a utility in GNOME called dconf and dconf will manage something called a dconf database. And basically this is a list of settings that you have in GNOME and some other programs on your system. And so the command we can use to actually dump all of our extension information is dconf dump. And we type the path to the directory and the directory for GNOME settings in our shell settings at least is org GNOME shell extensions. If we just hit enter here, we can see it dumps out all of the information for all of the things that we just set up here. These are all of our shell extensions and their settings. We can see right here, we have a tiling assistant. We have tiling shell. We have top hat, which is a, another extension that I didn't quite show you yet. But we also have all the other ones like tactile, switcher, space bar. All of these things are now dumped into our terminal. So what we can do to save these settings is call that command and set that output put to some file on our system. Let's just call it some file.txt. I'm very creative if you haven't already known. So we can dump that out into some file.txt. And if we cat that file, we can see that it has all of the information for all of our settings. So now that we've set our GNOME shell extension configuration into a file somewhere, how do we then reset our current shell extension configuration to that file's configuration? How do we load this up? Well, what we can do is we can call dconf load, and then we wanna specify that we're loading for org gnome shell extensions. 
and we want to read into that command some file.txt. That is going to load all of the information from that file into GNOME shell extensions on this computer. So if you ever want to reset our shell extensions and you just want to have a snapshot of where you were, that's how you would do it. You would save it to a file with dconf dump and then load it back in with dconf load. Now the real trick here is bringing up a new computer from scratch to something beautiful like this with just a few commands. And how would you do that? Well, in order to do that, you're going to have to stick around because one of my next videos is going to be on starting from scratch with an Arch Linux install and building it up to this specific setup with just a couple of commands. It's just shell scripts and it's amazing. I'm going to show you in another video. So stick around and hey, thanks nerds.